that. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you. Do you mind playing this game with me? Yes, you. What's your name? Margaret. Margaret? You and I are going to play a little game. Uses a cup and a ball. And by the way, that cup might be of interest to you. That is solid gold. <laughs> if I had a brass plate to protect the gold. Okay, give me a break. <laughs> a cup and a ball. Frank, you're close. So would you put the ball in the cup or the ball in the ball in the cup for me? Thanks. Margaret, you're the important one. Can you hear it? Here's the object of the game. It's just a game, not a trick. It's not going to fool you. Okay. <laughs> Here's the object of the game. In one quick motion, I'm going to go just like this and take that ball and either put it in my lap like I just did that time or leave it under the cup. You have to guess which I did. Okay? okay? Here we go. Now remember, you leave it in my lap or under the cup. You have to guess which. You ready to play? Fine. Let's get down to business. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> a cup and a ball. <clears throat> the object's for me to get the ball from here to way over here without Margaret seeing it. Watch. Just take a blow and a throw and now I'm ready to go. <laughs> 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 Put it in there for me and I'll start. Two points for you, Frank. You got it in the cup. Okay. <laughs> now you have to guess, Margaret. Okay. Don't feel bad if you miss because I don't give you anything if you're right. Okay? okay. Here you go. <laughs> One quick motion just like this. My lap or under the cup? Under the cup. Oh, <laughs> you guessed the cup, you were wrong. I tell you what, I'm going to let you win the start again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to lose. We're going to do it real slow so there's no mistake. Watch, Margaret. Okay. There we go. In my lap or under the cup? I don't trust you. <laughs> if I say under, on your lap, it'll be under the cup, right? Which one would you like? I'll say on your lap. Very good. Very good. See, you think I have two balls. Well, let me rephrase that. <laughs> You think I have an extra ball? I do, but it's blue, so what do you think? <laughs> oh, you thought I had another red one. I do, but it's sick. It's got the measles. It's the most ever, ever day ever ever. It won't even fit in the cup it just came out of. Thank you very much. <laughs> Get in there. You, you, got, you probably have seen the three-shell game, the three-card game. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not the three shell game. This is the one cup game. Instead of three little shells and a pea, it's a cup and a ball. And before I tell you how the game works, let me explain how the cup works. You'll notice I've put the ball in the cup, the ball becomes invisible. That's because the cup is opaque. If I tip the cup up, the ball becomes visible on the other side. However, if I put the ball under the cup while the cup is mouth down, the ball becomes invisible, but permanently. Now, when you take that permanently invisible ball, put it on top of the bottom of the cup, give it a push, it'll go through, become visible on the other side. Okay? Now that you understand how the cup works, let me explain the game. I'm going to place the ball into my pocket, and without you seeing it, get it back into the cup. From the pocket to the cup. Okay? From the pocket to the cup. Did you see it go? It said no. It did. Look at that. See, what I didn't tell you, honey, what I didn't tell you is the cup has a hole in it. Yeah, see, it's right here. It's about two and a half inches deep. If it didn't have that hole, it wouldn't be a cup. It'd be a plate. Yeah. And, of course, if you hit the hole right, it goes all the way through. If you don't hit it right, nothing happens. Honey, put your hand right up on top. That's good. Did you catch it? Did you catch Oh, look at that. Now, watch close. I'm going to place the ball in my pocket and get it under the cup without you seeing it. Did you see it go? She said, no, it did. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> By now, you probably got it all figured out. Two balls. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. One's green. The other one looks an awful lot like that. Oh. And I don't understand that. I started out as a magician. Uh, I started out when I was 12 years old as a magician. And this trick I'm going to show you is my absolute favorite trick of all the tricks I've learned how to do. It has an interesting history because um, when I was in school, in elementary school, we studied the Egyptians. And on the walls of the pyramids, they had uh, drawings, illustrations of people doing tricks. And one of the tricks was the cup and ball, <coughs> or the cups and balls. And this is probably the oldest trick in the world, the known trick. It has some props. It has a bag. It has a, uh, a little shot glass. It has a handkerchief. Stick the handkerchief down in here for a second. It has a mini um, cocktail shaker. Can you take a look around inside and make sure there are no hidden trap doors, elephants, anything <laughs> like that? 
good. Looks good. And we also have a little ball, like so. Here's the trick. It's actually sort of a swindle. I'm going to take the little ball. I'm going to drop the little ball down inside the cup. I take the ball and I put it down inside my pocket. You, and then I ask you a question. Is the ball underneath the cup or is it down inside my pocket? Okay? Okay, easy enough. Let's get started. <laughs> Like everything I do, this is a swindle. Okay, here's the swindle. You're watching close. Okay, when I drop the ball down and I reach down inside my pocket and I say, where's the ball? If you say the ball's underneath the cup, I say it's in my pocket. If you say the ball's in my pocket, I say the ball's underneath the cup. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I need to explain this, okay? I'll explain it. The cup has a hidden Trap door, little hole. <laughs> you didn't see it, did you? No. You know, I can tell you don't believe me. Okay, watch. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Do it again, look. <laughs> watch. Oh, that is good. Uh, whoa. Oh, oh, no. go. A little faster. There we go. <laughs> Remember the shot glass? Okay, here comes my favorite part of the trick. The little ball is going to penetrate the folds of the handkerchief and appear inside the shot glass. See? Okay, ready? No way. No way. Wow. No. You know, this happened the other night when I did this. The ball got stage fright, oh, no. and it went back down inside the... Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, watch. Last time. The ball is going to go from my pocket into the shot glass. You see, Cup? <laughs> you want to see it again? Yeah. Okay, well. It's going to go right there. Okay. Uh, actually, right there. See me go down? Down inside? Did you see it go? Did you see? It was sure big enough. <laughs> I find that people who don't, if you don't figure out where that one came from, you'll never figure out where that one came from. I told you a third one was going to no, come in here. No, no, no. Go, go like that. Go like that. Did you see it? Lift it up. Uh, wait, wait, you don't believe me. Uh, Lift it up. I don't believe you. Oh, uh, it got stage fright and it went back. Thank you.